morning. We're out here this morning on Barren River Lake. Uh, it's a cold, <clears throat> cold morning. Water temperature is about 40 degrees. Thought we might try to catch catfish. Uh, only the kind of bait we have, uh, we didn't get no, uh, we didn't have no bluegill or anything. Uh, I haven't found any balls of shad or anything to throw, throw net on, so we're, we got a little chicken and uh, strawberry jello. Uh, caught fish on it before. It's actually a pretty good catfish bait. So uh, we got it cast out here. We got about five rods out. We're gonna give this spot right here about 15, 20 minutes, and then we're gonna move on. Uh, as we come around through here, we've seen some uh, pretty good arches on the on the depth finder, uh, and that's another reason we came up here today. Uh, got a new depth finder for Christmas, the Garmin uh, 73 SV. Uh, so we want to try it out. First opportunity to try it out. So if nothing else, it's a good day just to come up here and uh, and play with this new uh, depth finder, fish finder, the new electronics, and uh, see what we can figure out about them. But, uh, any day in the outdoors is a good day. As I always say, it's God, family, and the great outdoors. All right, I'm going now. Hooked up. Is it good? Let me know if I need grab net. White. Cat takes the skunk off for the day anyway. He was Caught one on our rig from the Alabama trip back in October. What do you say? Five pound? Seven or eight, I was thinking. I don't know. We can put him on scales. Pretty good little fish. He's white. Usually I'd let him go, but I'm going to be honest. We're out of catfish at the house. And my wife told me before we left that she wanted some fish to eat. So he's going to go home be dinner one night last day of the fast ready for some fish <laughs> we didn't get the takedown on there we were sitting here listening to a podcast and uh, all of a sudden this one finally went so yeah. but I'm glad to get a fish in the boat might get a couple here we just Good had thing. a couple good hits. The same. When we took off, we won't use this new depth finder, so it didn't really want to stop, but when we first took off the boat ramp, boat ramp's right there, we marked a bunch of fish coming around through here, and we ended up coming back over here. We probably should have just stayed right here when we first come in, and we'd probably caught more fish. You gonna put it on scales, Daddy? Got 
get screwed in. That's it. Let's get it back out there and see if we can catch another one. Old blue cat on little chicken blue. Its eyes are white and everything. Like I said, we're still using our rigs from our surf fishing trip. What Fort Morgan is. We'll be going back in April, do some more surf fishing. So around that time, if you're interested in surf fishing and fishing the ocean, make sure to keep an eye out. We'll have some videos. Oh, it looks like he was caught in 31 foot of water. Water temp's 41 right here. All right. All right. We hooked up again. Hooked up again. a little bit. I don't, I don't think he's any bigger than the last one, but he is wanting to pull a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. He, uh, he uh, definitely pulling. Another cold water catfish. I just threw this one out just a minute ago. We had an extra rod here we hadn't threw out. So I baited it up and threw it out on the other side of the boat here. It wasn't just a minute. There it went. He's a good catfish. Good catfish. You want me to hand me that? Uh, you want me to get that dip net? Oh. I barely had him booked too. Oh. There you go, break the net. Well, I got one hand. Alright. He's a little better fish than the last one. I had him hook better than I thought I did. Let me get the hook out of his mouth and I'll hold him up here. He's definitely in the teens of not. Close to 20. Let's get him up there. Let's get him on the See? We're close to 20. Yeah. One like this, I'm not going to. I'm not gonna eat, but if we catch another smaller one or two, I do want another one to eat. But this one, I believe we'll let back go, just because he's a good fish. I don't see taking him out of the water to eat him. But, uh, I'm gonna say he's close to 20 pounds. Couldn't find the scales looked. Yeah, I think I took them out in the garage. But anyway, I want to find them, put them back in the boat, and steal this one. As long as my arm. I'd say he's 20 pounds. Fishing on the wrong side of the boat? <laughs> yeah, Rod wasn't out maybe five minutes. Five to ten minutes? Yeah.
should have started here it's done about one o'clock been out here for a while Hooked up for the board. He's hooked up. Let's see what happens here. Feel like a pretty good fish? Feels decent. Holding to the bottom, so it might be a pretty good fish. We'll see here. Keep him out of my other line. Is he pulling drag there? Yeah, I loosened it a hair though. Might have to tighten because he's pulling. That's all you're doing is pulling drag right now. You're not making any ground, it's just pulling out. I see see if we can see some color here in just a second. I'll get the, I'll get the dip. I don't think he's as big as the one you just had. Don't give him no slack or keep it tight. Oh yeah, it's good fish. Good fish. Here we go. We got him now. We got him now. Good fish. Oh, yeah. Real good fish. I believe he'll be 20 plus. Chicken breast doing its job this morning, or today it ain't morning no more. It's about 1 15, 1 20. Oh, he's up. I can't remember what time it is right now. That's my clock. I think he may be in that tackle box. Did you see him in somewhere there? Oh, good. Get him back to the water. All right. He's not too big. He better, he better out there swimming around than taking him home and eating him. There he goes. Back, back to the bottom he goes. 
Yeah. That's three for today anyway. Yeah. Good I fish. here talking about good. leaving. <laughs> good fish. Good fish. Maybe we'll hook up another one here before we go. I'd like to get another two ready. I'd like to get another two uh, that we can take home and eat just to go with that one we got. And, uh, we like to eat them too. Uh, we, we try to let the bigger ones go. We catch on rod and reel. Of course, I, I'll let you know. It, it, it don't always happen that way. Come noodling season, when we get some of them flatheads, I know a lot of people don't agree with it, but they'll be going home to, to eat. Uh, I love flatheads, my favorite kind of catfish to eat. That's another reason a lot of times when we're fishing rod and reel, we don't ever keep any of them, because you usually catch enough while, during noodling season that uh, we fill our freezer up and it does this all year. Baking back up. Chicken breast and uh, chicken breast and Kool Aid yeah. or Jello, strawberry Jello. Nasty smelling garlic you put yeah, on. Yeah, put a little it. garlic on there. Yeah. Way close 30, one a little, probably 20 or a little better. Uh, we had uh, another one weigh five or six pounds. Anyway, we're getting ready to get out of here today. Hey, if you will, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so when we upload new videos, you get a notification. Hey, and tell your friends. And if there's ever anything you'd like to see in the outdoors, hey, just drop a line, and let us know. Uh, we, we uh, just to let you know. We're going to do, we're going to be in Michigan this year fishing some. Uh, we're going to be in Michigan this year fishing some. I'm just dragging bottles. Yes, thanks. Anyway, we're going to be in Michigan this year. We're going to go to Michigan in uh, May and do some fishing. Uh, we're going to go back to Alabama, do some uh, surf fishing. Uh, of course, turkey season will be coming up. We'll be turkey hunting. And I got a lot to learn uh, with doing these videos. I, successful with uh, the videos. And uh, I'm about to get the bike, but I think I'll just drag the bottom. Uh, I'm real successful with my deer hunting videos. We killed some deer, killed cow or two, and uh, it's been a learning curve. But as we learn it, uh, learn to do more, maybe we can get y'all some better about it videos out. Uh, we love to do all things in the outdoors. And uh, we can't do this without you guys. Thank y'all for watching. Hey, and as I always say, it's God, family, and the great outdoors. God bless.